<laughs> okay. Let's just start by talking about this past month. We are currently in November 2022. And man, I definitely thought that by the end of the year, we would be in a very different situation than we're in right now. Don't you think? I thought it, we'd, we would at least have a car seat in the back. Yeah. And nothing has changed. And we laugh about it, but honestly, this past month has been very hard for us. I think that's a big reason why we haven't put out a bunch of videos. It's, just, it's yeah. hard to grab the camera and start filming when you don't really feel very happy, right? Yeah. Like, that's how it is for me. It's just kind of like... I don't know. It's just, it's hard to film stuff when you just like don't want to do anything. Yeah. I think our motivation has dwindled a lot this month. I think we're like, I feel like one of the biggest wake up calls for us is when Dallin turned 29. What is that? No. Yes. How? The day of your birthday, you said, you're like, dang, I, I hope that I have a kid by the time I'm 30. And I think every year you've kind of said that, like, I hope I have a kid by the time I'm 29. Hope I have a kid now by the time I'm 30. And it, it just, like, feels, it just has felt a little sad ever since then. And I honestly have never seen you like this. I feel like Dallin is sad. I think we're both just feeling sad. Like, we, we definitely thought that by the end of this year, we would at least be pregnant, right? I think for me, it's the reason it's like hitting me so hard at the end of the year be was because in January of this year, I made a bucket list of everything I wanted to accomplish this year. And I'm proud to say I accomplished almost every single one. But one of them that was on that list was to not have a kid, but to be pregnant. Yeah. I didn't expect to have the kid this year, but at least be pregnant and... That's not going to happen. So it's mm. like, oh, it's tough. Also, I think another reason why like this month's been specifically hard is because Bella's been seeing a um, acupuncture doctor and he kind of gave us like a glimpse of hope and he talked us up and was like, you're just going to, you know, like things are going to happen here and there and come do this acupuncture and drink this tea. And it kind of got us hopeful. And then, boom, crushed. Which I so, don't know yeah. why we continue getting hopeful. This year has been like <laughs> a year of hoping, hoping, hoping. IVF failed. Yeah. Second round, hope, 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 failed. Third round, hope, 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 failed. And it's just like we just keep getting our hopes up and then we get crushed. So recently our hopes were crushed again with this acupuncture doctor. And so it's like the mixture of all these things. I guess my birthday, my bucket list isn't going to be complete. Not This doctor gave us hope. And it didn't work out. The frustrating thing for me is like, I feel like I've tried everything. I've done months where it's like I have injected my body with all the hormones and the things doing the IVF treatment. I've done an IUI. I have just relaxed completely. <laughs> and I've been stress-free and completely detoxed my body from all that stuff and done acupuncture and drank all the Chinese teas and all the different things. And it's like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. And it's just so hard. I'm getting so many opinions from so many different people. And I just feel like this year has been the year of experimenting and trying absolutely everything. So for me, at least I can say that we did everything that we could. One of the hardest days I had was actually yesterday. It was a really hard day for me because my acupuncture doctor said that if I don't start my period, I should take a pregnancy test on that day. And I've honestly been testing throughout the week and I've taken videos of every single one. Welcome back to another episode of taking a pregnancy test while Dallin is gone and it being negative. But I'm just gonna take it. I haven't started my period. I don't know why I haven't started my period, but maybe I'm pregnant, even though it doesn't seem like a possibility. <sighs> One of these days, just one of these days, I'm manifesting that it will say pregnant. I would absolutely pass out if this was positive. Oh, not pregnant. It sucks.
And I don't know why in my mind I thought that this could be the month that I would get pregnant. I don't know why I even like would try to believe that. I don't know why I like get my hopes up and think like this could even be a possibility, but it's so frustrating. And I was just feeling all the feelings yesterday. I had one of the worst days I've had in a long time. sitting in my room. I'm just so frustrated. I was supposed to start my period this week and I just didn't start my period. And I feel like it just sucks. Infertility just freaking sucks. I just feel like there's something wrong with me. I don't understand why I got dealt these cards and why my body doesn't want to work. But it's so frustrating. Like, I don't know why it has to happen to me, but it really is taking a toll on me because I don't know, it just sucks. I'm so over this. I just feel like, and like it being the holidays too, it just sucks. The thing that always has sucked for me <clears throat> is it's the holidays. Thanks. I <laughs> do not. I'm having a moment here. Banks gets sad when I'm sad. He can't handle it. I've just been sitting in here and it just sucks. Like I spent another Thanksgiving without being pregnant or having a baby to celebrate it with. And now we're going into the holidays and I'm going to spend another holiday without a baby. It just like stings every, it just stings every year. So <sighs> I was supposed to go to the gym a while ago, but I'm just like, I just feel like I can't do anything right now i want to look back when we're on the other side of this at these types of videos and remember these moments because i'm hoping we'll be on the other side of this soon i mean i am hoping but at the same time i don't know how i feel no i know we're gonna be on the other side of this soon one way or another right but basically we've been sad and it's been tough. Also, another thing too, I was just in a deep thought, but I think like when it's around the holiday time, uh, yeah, like we're all together with family, we're with our cousins, our nieces and nephews, uh, which yeah. we love more than anything. It's hard. But it's just like, it gets hard at that point too, where I'm just like, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. It's so hard. Every Christmas since I was like 22 years old and I'm 26 now, I have literally said, I hope by next Christmas that we have our kids to celebrate it with. And then I, you know, it doesn't happen. And then I'm like, I hope by next Christmas that we could just have a child to celebrate this with. It's just like the holidays are not the same. And I don't know. I just hate it. I hate it. One thing that I know is we're not going to give up. Definitely not going to give up. And, um, it's going to happen. Like, I just, I know it's going to happen. Bella has her days where she thinks it's not going to happen. I don't know. I, every month I'm that goes by, I'm like less and less confident that it's going to happen. I'm positive it's going to happen. <laughs> I know it. know, though? Because I know. You I don't just, know. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. I'm going to replay this clip in like. I don't know. Six months. Uh, it's just hard. And I think for us right now, like, we're trying to gather a plan of like what we do next, right? Because it's like what like what do you even do like at this point it just seems so impossible and so out of reach for us so i don't even know what we're gonna do we've definitely looked at all the options right now i mean as of now i've just been doing acupuncture a couple times a week and just not trying trying to not think about it and trying to just relax relax and um move forward with life but obviously it's just like every day there's like a moment of every day where both of us look at each other and like oh the house just feels so empty. Like, oh, I wish that we had, like, kids to spend our day with. You know, it just, it just sucks. Yeah, we have an ex we have, like, an empty room in the back oh, of our house. I hate that room. It's supposed to be the nursery. We even did the closet, like, perfectly so it would be and ready for the nursery. And she's been kind of sitting there empty, waiting, obviously. But I'm like, forget that. I'm probably going to turn it to, like, a game room or yeah. something. I'm going to put, like, a big, I don't know, like, couch in there, some TVs on the wall. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. I think you should do that. I'm so sick of... It's like, literally when we first moved into our house, and I could probably find the clip of our house tour, 
four years ago, I was like, this is the nursery. And this room is still a work in progress. Yo, we said you guys, this is a work in project. progress. So this like. right now is like kind of like our junk room, but it's gonna be a future Della Baby's room, so. Yo, if you guys ever notice in the videos that like, we start cleaning out this room and that like <laughs> maybe some wallpaper goes up, that just might mean that there's like a Della baby. baby on the way. So hey, if you see in the videos, like this is just junk right now, just an empty room. In my mind, I was like, oh, I can't wait, like soon. Like I told Dallin, I was like, we're never decorating that room because we're gonna have a baby soon. And he's like, okay, yeah, you're right. And so then we left it empty. And then over the years, it's just been collecting dust. And it's just like the dreary, empty, Cold. room cold room <laughs> that should be a nursery at this point and now Dallin has his like gaming stuff in there and I'm like let's just turn this into a man cave now watch right when we turn it into a man cave and spend all this time and money doing that great I don't care I don't care about I'll spend hours I'll spend money uh, doing that if that happens I don't even care but anyway what's next um I I don't know I'm kind of like the thought of doing another round of IVF no. It's freaking scary. I'm not doing it. But I want to do it. I can't. I want to do it. I can't do it. I don't know. At I least wanna right do... now. I can't do it right now. Would you do it in January? No. February? <laughs> no. When? I don't know. I want to do another one. Really? You haven't told me this. I haven't told you that. This what is the, the first time. What the heck? You haven't but told what, me but, this. But okay, what are our other options? That's the closest know. we've ever been. Not really. We're literally discussing this for the first time right here to you, <laughs> like, with wait, you guys. You want to do that? I don't know. I definitely I don't. Am. I mean, what? We just continue doing nothing? I don't know. There is a big part of me that wants to really look into adoption and explore that world. Yeah, and I agree with that. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, adoption takes years sometimes or months. It's not going to be like a, well, yeah, a but quick thing. And so... I At think least we, we would feel like we have some form of hope and excitement knowing that a baby could be in our family at some point. Like right now, to me, and I know you don't feel this way because you're Mr. Positive, but to me, it feels like there really isn't a whole lot of hope. And it's sad. It's really sad. And I'm trying to not cry. Yeah. But I know. Well, it anyway. It feel very hopeful for me. I guess that answers our question. We don't really know what's next. I'm over here, Bella's over here, and to be honest, it kind of changes every day, and I'm definitely not against adoption. I, I think that'd be super awesome. It's something I want to yeah. go on with, but it just takes time. Yeah. And in between that time, why not keep trying? But then as I say that, I'm like, Whoa. we keep trying, but then we just keep getting knocked down because it doesn't work. So it's like, that's a scary thought as well. I think the most frustrating thing for me lately is... I just don't get a period, which is like the most annoying thing in the world because how are you even supposed to get pregnant if you don't have a period? So I've been trying to work with my acupuncture doctor on that and it's just so frustrating. Like you guys probably have already seen the video from yesterday, but like I was supposed to start my period this week and I just didn't and I'm so, I'm just so frustrated by that because it's like, why can't my body just work? Like I really feel so annoyed that like at myself I'm like why can't my body work I do everything right I'm like super healthy I go to the gym drink so much water every day like I take all my vitamins it's like why can't I just have the one thing that is like womanly thing that everybody else can have and I just can't have it I'm just I don't know I don't know I was just hopeful that I would start my period this month and then I didn't and I thought because maybe I was going to acupuncture that something would change, but I guess things just take time, so. Yeah, years, apparently. Apparently years, like, how long have we been doing this now? It's We're coming up on four years of like doing infertility treatments and things. Is that how long it's been? Yeah, it was January four years ago, so. Wow. Yeah, we're coming up on four years. And I mean, we've wanted a baby longer than that. That's just how long we've done IVF, like not IVF, but fertility treatments. Yeah. My first fertility treatment was in January of, I want to say... 2019? 2019. Was it 2019 or 2018? I don't know. 2019. For whatever four years ago is. Somewhere around that time. And, yeah. 
Anyway, though, I, I do feel bad because I feel like I let you guys down because I want to put out videos and I want to, like, create cool content for you guys. And I, we see a lot of comments where people are like, we miss you. And honestly, we miss you guys, too. Yeah. And it, and it makes it hard. But, like, there's just days where I'm just, like, zero motivation. Zero motivation. It's tough. All I want more, like, literally, the only, there's only one thing I want is a baby. A kid. I mean, like, th that's it. So it's like, you don't really care about any other thing if that's like your one and only goal and there's very limited things you can do to achieve that goal. Yeah. That's what's hard. Like, if I want like anything else, there's things I could do every single day to achieve that. And it's like, I want to be extra fit. I can go to the gym every day. I can work out hard. I want to do- We just have no control. This or that. It's like, there's things I can do here. I have very limited control on like achieving the one thing. And that's the hardest part about all of this. And so I never thought we would be in this situation. I never thought I'd be I in this really situation didn't. either. I thought I was, when I was 16, I just thought like, boom, 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 a couple things happen and boom, kid. Like, that's what I thought. I think that's what a lot of people think too. And then you like, you start to learn and understand there's a lot that has to align and a lot that has to go together to all for it to happen. So, you know, who knows what our future is we don't know we talk about it a lot it changes all the time but i have not lost hope and i i i know it's gonna happen i really do it's gonna happen it's just when the timing's right and for some reason the timing's not right for us right now yeah and we don't know why but maybe one day we'll understand a little bit better <laughs> right I, I guess i don't know she I says, I guess. I don't know. I just don't. I'll never understand. And unless you're experiencing infertility, which if you are watching this and you are like experiencing that, I'm so sorry. You're not alone. But unless you have experienced it or have gone through it, you don't understand what this feels like. Like people are like, oh, well, you'll have a kid one day. It's just like, no, it doesn't like you don't understand what a toll it takes on you and how hard it can be when you're in it. So... It sucks. Yeah. But thank you guys for understanding. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys do understand. A You've lot been of very you guys, supportive. Uh, like, yeah. You've helped us get through it, so. A lot, which we really appreciate. Yeah. And we're going to put on some happy faces. We're going to be positive. We're going to be hopeful. We're going to we're gonna come back to life. We're going to be our, our happy selves. And we're just going to keep doing life. Yeah. We're going to plan some travels. We're the happiest when we travel. We love traveling. We have so much fun. We have incredible memories doing that. This year was a year full of travels. <laughs> We're going to do a, one of our next videos you'll see is we want to do like a year recap. Yeah, and it's going to be cool. And we're really excited about that. It's yeah, we cool. went to so many new countries, so many new places, saw so many new cultures. It was amazing. So we're going to do that again in 2023. And we're going to continue doing that as much as we possibly yeah. can until we have a kid. And so, and then when we have kids, we could do that with our kids, which true. I'm so excited for. Like, that's all I ever want. And I've... I feel like just to end up the video, I just feel like why we want a baby so bad. I feel like we, I, at least for me, I have felt like I don't have much of a purpose. Like I want to be a mom so bad. And I feel like that's just like my purpose and my calling in life. And so I just feel like there's like a big part of me missing all the time. Like yeah. everything I do, I feel like there's something missing and Ah, I just want it so bad. It just sucks. Sorry, I keep saying it sucks. It does suck. It really does. But uh, anyway, this video is getting a little long. Yeah, and we love I don't you guys. want it to be depressing. We are going to keep the faith. We're going to bounce back. We're going to keep pushing forward. And here we are saying 2023 could be our year. We said 2022 was going to be our year oh so many times. Oh my gosh, I hate that. Throughout the whole year, we're like, this is going to be our year. And you know what? It, I, I don't want to be like so like negative and like so we did sad. Have a great year. 2022, 2022 was an incredible year. So many amazing, thing hap amazing things happened. And to be honest, if we had a kid, a lot of that stuff might not have happened. So there's a bunch of different ways to look at it. But I would take any experience in 2022 and get rid of it if I could replace it with a kid, without Me a doubt. Too. Without a doubt. Me too. But 2023, it's going to be an amazing year. We still have a month left of this year. We got December. We're going to crush it. We're going to end this year out good. I'm excited for it. Yeah. And it's going to be a good one. And we just want to give a huge thanks yeah. to you. 
Like, yeah, thank you. It means so much that you even watch this video, that you're still watching to the end, that you care about us, that you leave nice comments, that you yeah. message us on Instagram. It seriously means so much. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Is that it? And that's it. All right. <laughs> that's it.